All right, I am back at Jacksonville Airport and today we are actually going to Utah. So, uh, oh, there's 45 minutes left on my flight. I gotta go. And we are in on the other side of the airport. Security cleared. That took us a total of maybe like three, four minutes. There was literally two people in line at pre-check. I love pre-check. Here you see the Miami airport. This reminds me a lot of the Oaxaca airport in Mexico and kind of walking on the tarmac. I think this door was shut from the inside, so all of us kind of just gathered around here waiting for the door to open. You can even see the pilot here just kind of wondering. And then this guy from inside comes along and there we go. This is Miami Airport. This airport is huge and it attracts all kinds of people. Skytrain. She's lost her mind. This is the Skytrain station. Here we go, SkyTrain time. Oh, watch your step. This gorgeous Miami airport this morning. Miami airport, they got everything in English and in Spanish because we are really close to, well, Mexico and the border. Miami airport, oh, the Miami heat. Miami airport has these never-ending corridors. Oh, look at this guy over here. Great shopping, dining choices. Crazy guy. Look at this, they got this plain fun for kids. It's like they got arrivals. They got a cool little thing in there. It's just cool. That's the ATC tower. Oh, there's a plane. Nice little fun. Plain fun for kids. Oh, look. There's the actual plane. Yet another jet bridge. That's number seven for 2022. Oh my God, this view while coming in the land. I feel cold just looking at this. Gorgeous, but I feel cold. As usual, everyone has got the same problem they have on every single flight. Premature evacuation. Here we are, Salt Lake City, baby. Well, we have made it to the airport here in Utah and look at the snow outside. Man, I feel bad for those guys working out there. It must get cold. Look at all those departures. Holy wow, Salt Lake City is a busy airport. All right, I made it over here to this Chinese food place. $10 plus tip, $15 for one single-sided meal. I decided to eat my food warm in the warm airport while watching the snow. If strength were all, Tiger would not fear Scorpion. Great message from my fortune cookie. Holy wow, Salt Lake City Airport is huge. Look at this. Enter into this massive atrium. We got baggage claim here. We got all kinds of exits. Look at this. Got this like installation thing. We got this dude here. Man, this airport is huge. All right, let's go get an Uber. Do you guys have a shuttle to Provo by any chance? So I found this little thing here for the shuttles in uh, Provo. So I might get a shuttle for $51. Last I checked the uh, Uber was 77, this is 51. That's $21 saving. 30 minutes I'll have to wait, but heck, I ain't got nowhere to be. I can work a little bit on my laptop here. Yeah. Uh, let's check how much Uber is. Uber is $101. So um, we're gonna go by the shuttle. Half price, uh, yeah, buddy. Holy snow, it's gold. I think that's our Canyon Transportation. He's just verifying that I'm on this shuttle. That one was not my shuttle. So we are waiting for a shuttle. There's another shuttle up there now that uh, other people are getting into. She said to sit here and uh, she'll come and grab me. So I'm sitting here and uh, my bags. We ditched one of the big suitcases. So I just got one small suitcase and one backpack. Because uh, domestically, I don't have to check in a bag and it's just easier. Hopefully I pack enough warm clothes up for the snow. We'll see. All right, this is our shuttle. We are here. Alright, made it here to Provo, Utah. Wow, look at that white in the back. That's because of the snow. It is snowing. Look at this. It's all this is snow here. Snow, snow, snow. Ah, ah, this is salt on the... Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you. This is salt over here. All this. To make sure we don't slip and fall. And also to make sure the snow melts. Alright. Well, we made it to the room. I didn't get a diamond upgrade, so it's a normal basic room. Still better than the rooms in India. 
Ah, oh, how beautiful, beautiful. And now I am looking out at the gorgeous river here. And we are going to go out and explore a little bit. Maybe even take the drone up and see what kind of drone shots we can get from here. Uh, and I'll show you guys a little bit of Provo here in uh, on this beautiful day. It is so cool though. As you can see here, I'm flying the drone and I am dying in this cold outside. I basically decided to fly the drone outside of my window from the hotel and take it off. Trying to bring the drone in guys. I'm here at the window. Look at this, this is what, this is what I'm looking at. This is the window that I'm trying to fly that drone in through. It's up there in the sky. And you can see what the drone can see. Now, flying it outside of the window, there are these wires there and it was very challenging. So I decided to do it anyways. And <laughs> well, while landing it, I wasn't uh, as, as successful as I thought I would be. But I got some beautiful shots of the drone while I was up there though, so that's gorgeous. And uh, then here's me trying to bring it into land and well, you see, that's, yeah, that, yeah, I ended up landing it down there. Yeah, that's right. This is the drone. Hello, drone. Let's go. That's about it for today, guys. I gotta get some work done. Gotta get stuff wrapped up. I hope you enjoyed this video of me going all the way from the sun, all the way to this freezing, freezing cold weather here in Utah. I gotta get warmer. <laughs> I gotta get more warm clothes. Well, hit that like button, subscribe down below as well. Don't slip on the snow. And I'll see you in the next one.